Good morning and welcome to our thought for today. It's Saturday morning and it's February the 18th and I hope you're well. Sadly this morning it's a dank morning with a drizzle rain but we must give thanks for water as we've not had any for a few days but anyway welcome. Our thought for today comes from the beautiful little book Jesus Now by Leslie Brandt. And our theme for this reflection, you and your talents. And Leslie draws us to a reflection in the New Testament Bible, Luke's Gospel, chapter 19, verse 26. I tell you that to everyone who has will more be given, but from him who has not, even what he has, will be taken away. So what's he going to say about that? As God's children and his ministers and servants, in a rebellious and disjointed world, you are the recipients of God's imparted gifts to be used toward the accomplishment of his purposes in our world. It is true that some of you appear to have more than others, but every one of you is of equal importance to God and has been entrusted with talents to be used to glorify and serve God. The value or the significance of these gifts is not to be determined by the accolades of your peers, but by the manner in which they are accepted and utilized for the glory of God. The frightful thing is that even some of God's children use them for self-service and self-gratification and stagnate their lives by neglecting to invest them in the needs of their fellow beings. What is worse is that they thereby grieve their loving God and become obstacles to the advancement of God's kingdom. These talents are many and varied. Not all of them are acknowledged or honoured by one's peers, and the most profound ones, however, may be the most invisible. The gifts, for instance, of love, faith, faith patience, understanding, sensitivity, courage, hmm, and the like. They are all given because they are all needed for the advancement of God's objectives. You are, by the enlightenment and empowerment of God's Spirit, to discern and acknowledge and stir up the talents that have been permitted to you. Then you are to utilise them, be they the abilities to make music or make money, to preach or write or teach or paint pictures, or solve problems or whatever, to serve the needs of those who may lack such abilities and ultimately to extend God's kingdom throughout your world. Glorify God with your lives and your talents today. <clears throat> so we come back to the original verse from St. Luke's Gospel. I tell you that to everyone who has, more will be given. But from him who has not, even what he has will be taken from him. <clears throat> so let us just spend a moment or two in quiet reflection. And here we invite and invoke and call upon the Spirit of God to speak to our hearts and to affirm that not only are we a child of God, but that we have been empowered and entrusted with talents from God. So just relax now, close your eyes, take a nice deep non-laboured in-breath and hold it 
And now in your out release any worries or fears to the Christ. And as you sit comfortably in your own sacred space, using our gift of free will, we ask the Christ, am I utilizing the talents that you've given to me, Lord? Or do I sit on them and not use them? Or do I squander them for my own self-gratification? Just be still and listen for that voice, that still voice, speak to your heart. Be mindful that the Christ is only asking of you what he asks of every child of God, <clears throat> and that is, do you share the gifts that God has given to you for the benefit of others? Sharing all those surplus requirements and surplus things that we have no need of, with those in need? Do we give generously or begrudgingly? Just reflect. And Christ won't condemn you. It will be the God's Spirit within you that will challenge you today to respond to God's request to share your talents, God's talents, with those who are led to you. Be still. And Jesus said, Whatever you do for the least of these my children, you do for me. So if we give a cup of cold water to one who is thirsty, we're doing it to Christ. And even words of comfort and reassurance <clears throat> are as important as giving material gifts. How many times have we passed someone on the street and just ignored them? Couldn't we have given a smile? Because maybe that smile will unlock that person's mindset and allow them to feel valued. One will never know. So as we conclude, we just say, Father, Mother, God, in the name of Jesus, we ask today for a selfless spirit to share the gifts that you have given to us and to share them from a loving heart and not to share them begrudgingly. Amen. So, dear friends, thank you for joining me for this short reflection and I look forward to your company again tomorrow. But for now, I wish you a blessed day. But remember the words Give from a selfless heart. Give lovingly, because we're giving to Christ. <clears throat>